Hey guys, it is time to give you the biggest stories this week. Welcome to Trends of the Week. Nollywood veteran Yamisha Lade recently revealed during an interview that a lot of Nollywood professionals have given room for Yahoo boys and prostitutes to come into the industry. He further stated that Nollywood is a professional body that must continue to portray themselves as such. He said, the Nollywood you see now is all encompassing. It's like an uncompleted building that is not guarded and what you meet there would amaze you. It has become an all-commerce affair. Anybody can stroll in and act. All the Yahoo boys are now there and all the prostitutes that you can imagine are also there. People cannot even differentiate between the core professionals and these class of clowns who have infiltrated the association. But they did not just fly in. Some people whom you refer to as core professionals brought them in. Mado, do you agree with him on this? Let us know on the comment section. Now, we did not see this one coming. Music artist Terry G has just revealed his brand new look. The artist who has kept his dreadlocks hairstyle for over over a decade recently shared a photo of himself on a low-cut hair with the caption, I'm a brand new G. Please, you're gonna need to reintroduce yourself. Nigerian artist Peter Okoye, aka Mr. P, has revealed some of the delicacies he loves. The singer took to Instagram to share a video of his plate filled with termites. He also disclosed that another insect he loves eating is grasshopper. Wow. He said, see what I'm eating, termites. Aku esusu. I grew up in the north and I love it so much. And also grasshopper. Okay. Okay. Winning the head of house and getting into a private room with a man she fancies might make her lose her home training. Erica is currently fighting the urge not to have sex with her deputy head of house, Kid Wire. During the workout session at the arena on Tuesday morning, the model and actress told fellow housemate Tolani Badge that she faced the battle of resisting sex with Kid Wire while they slept on Monday night. Erica said the only thing she considered was the camera and she prayed as another night with that fine gentleman might be a struggle for her again. Hmm, we feel you, Erica. Moving on, away from social media but still winning, David O's last studio album, A Good Time, has hit a record-breaking 1 billion streams online. His manager, Asa Asika, revealed this as he shared a post on his social media platform posing with the award placard alongside David O. Congratulations, OBO. Now to the Alafi of Oyo, who has married a new wife, Olori Anu. The news of the union recently surfaced on the internet and all we know about Olori Anu at the moment is that she is studying political science at the University of Ibadan and in her final year, she is reportedly about the 20th wife of the monarch. Internet TV giant Netflix has rewarded Ikorodu Boys for their creative works that has also caught the attention of different Hollywood producers and directors. The social media entertainers Ikorodu Boys broke into the international scene after their mimic video of Hollywood movie Extraction went viral. They have now received delivery of filming equipment from Netflix and presented by Nollywood movie producer Kunle Afolayo, who also revealed that he would be mentoring the boys. Now this is what we call empowerment. Nollywood actor Genevieve Onaji has been unveiled as one of this year's Toronto Film Festival ambassadors. The celebrated filmmaker will join globally recognized filmmakers, including for the festival which is scheduled to kickstart veterinary from September 10th to September 19th, 2020. Genevieve's teeth recognition comes barely months after she made the list of Academy members. Finally, African giant Burner Boy has dropped his 15-track Twice As Tall album that has American music business mogul Diddy as the executive producer. The just-released album hit 5 million online streams within just an hour of release. The album is expected to break new grounds beyond what his previous African Giant album did. Sharing the album art cover on his social media page, Burner revealed that the art did justice to just what he intended to portray. He also revealed that it reflects his journey through different energies while making the album. There you have it, all the top stories you probably missed this week. Do follow us on our social media pages at Max1023FM and at Max909FM and on YouTube at MaxFM Nigeria. The name is Sarah. Bye.